Um, if I could just start today uh, by, by sending my best wishes to Yanni Duplessis and his family. Um, you know, we understand uh, how terrible it must be for the family. I had the pleasure of coaching Yanni and Bismarck in 2007 and he's a, he's a fine young man. Um, we just wish his family all the best. So that comes from England Rugby. Thank you. Yep. Okay, Eddie, my name's Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, thanks, thanks, Charlotte. Um, hello, Eddie. Uh, could you talk about um, Joe Marchant on the right wing and um, what, what you see in him? Um, what excites you about him on the right wing? Yeah, well, we know that uh, South Africa is going to come through the air. Um, you know, they have a fairly stated game plan and, and winning the air is an important part of their game and, and we feel like Joe Marchant's you know, one of the best in England in the air. Um, so he brings that ability to contest in the air really well. He's a strong defender and a strong runner with the ball. So it suits the way we want to play this week. And, and, and how, do you, how do you try to match or go around South Africa's physicality? What, what have we learnt about beating them over the last few months, watching other teams have a go at it? Uh, well, you've got, to, you've, got to, you've got to get stuck in, mate. You know, there's no... There's no getting away from the fight, but having said that, there are opportunities to hurt them in other ways and we've got to be brave enough to take those opportunities to hurt them in other ways. So the physicality is an important part of Test Rugby and you know, if you look at the history of, of South Africa and England rugby, they've got a 65% winning record and it's probably based on their physicality. You know, They set off the World Cup final where they beat us fair and square. Um, that they knew how to play to us, they knew where our weaknesses were, and they're implying our forward pack is weak. Well, our forward pack's not weak, and we'll have an opportunity on, on Saturday to show that. So we're looking forward to taking him on in the physicality. We're also looking forward to, to trying to expose the weaknesses in their game, which they do have. Brilliant. Thank you. experienced front rowers there how do you you know do you regard them, them playing against South Africa as a kind of acid test of their ability no I don't fair enough and I'm um, sorry can I just ask you obviously we this week we've had the um Rassi Erasmus decision from World Rugby I just wondered what your reaction to that was as an experienced coach yourself and someone who's spoken about a need for respect from the game well, I believe it's under review, so I'd be, uh, I don't think it'd be circumspect for me to speak about it. Thank you. Thanks, Julian. Uh, Jonathan, please. Hi, Eddie. Just, just following up on, on what you were saying about South Africa, think that your forward pack is, is weak. Where, whereabouts, did you hear that? Whereabouts has that come up? Oh, it's just the implication of what they're saying, mate. Um, you know, they knew how to beat us. You know, Khaleesi after the World Cup final said he knew how to beat us. Um, and, and obviously their game is based on physicality. Um, so the implication is they can, they can go over our forward pack. But our English forward pack won't be weak on Saturday. You know, we'll have 82,000 people supporting that forward pack and we're looking forward to that contest up front. Sure, so, so what did South Africa expect from you on, on, on Saturday? Particularly in the forwards? Well, I can't, I can't answer what they expect, mate. I know what we're going to deliver. We'll deliver a, a, a strong, spirited, energetic, aggressive display by our forward pack. Thank you. Thank you, Jonathan. Leo, Eddie, how are you there? You've got Joe Marler there pitched on your bench. Can you talk to, talk to me about his preparation, given he's been in isolation and won't be available to train with you guys until the captain's run tomorrow, please? Yeah, he's had a diet of wraps um, and he's got a gym at his uh, home, so he's been working out. Uh, we're anticipating he'll be, he'll, he'll be out of isolation 8 o'clock this afternoon and, and he'll be ready to go, mate. You okay. know, we don't have a bomb squad like South Africa are so proud about, but we have Joe Marlon and we have Will Stewart. And, and with the young guy, Dolly, from uh, 
uh, Leicester. We're, we're looking forward to taking him on that last 20 and 30 minutes of the game. Okay, with, with regard to Nick Dolly as well, you can give me an insight as to, as to what he's like, given it, it is his test debut and, and many people wouldn't know much about him. Yeah, he's, you know, he's a similar story to Dylan Hartley. So we had Dylan Hartley and Chris Robishaw and um, James Haskell in today to to watch training and, and chat with the blacks over lunch because they've been a big part of this team. And uh, Dylan and, and Dolly have got very similar stories. You know, they both left their country to come and, and, and try their hand in another, another part of the world. Both had heritage uh, to play for England. You know, Dolly's been at uh, Sale, uh, was told he wasn't required um, by a phone call. Uh, was going to, I think he was going to play for Coventry. Leicester had some problems with their hooker and he's taken his chance and he's been impressive. He's a good, tough player. He wants to learn. Um, he'll give you everything he's got and that's all we're expecting on Saturday. He gives us everything he's got. OK, thank you. Thanks. Um, we've probably only got time for one more, so Martin, we'll come to you. Thanks. Thanks, Eddie. You say that South Africa have got weaknesses. What are they? Martin, do you really think I'm going to tell you? Well, you've told me they've got weaknesses, so it's do you think I'm going reasonable to... to ask you what you think they are. Well, I don't think that's a reasonable question, mate. Um, but like every team, you know, there's no team that's unbeatable. There's no team that doesn't have a flaw in whatever they do, and sometimes your strength becomes your weakness.